Kamala Harris may have her eyes on 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue as her future address, but in the meantime, she's lived in a handful of stunning homes. This includes several California properties like her current mansion in Brentwood, a condo in Washington, D.C., and even the official vice president's residence. Just last month, President Biden suspended his bid for a second term and endorsed Vice President Kamala for the presidency instead. If Kamala ends up taking home the title, she'll move her stuff from number one observatory circle, the VP residence, to the White House. Kamala Harris's early life and career started in California, where she served as the district attorney of San Francisco and later as the attorney general of California. During these years, she lived in a few different charming homes across the state, from LA to San Francisco. In fact, her one-time loft in San Francisco, which spans just over a thousand square feet of space, is now an Airbnb property where you can stay at. Kamala's sunny San Francisco loft was located on the top floor of Boutique Building in the South of Market neighborhood, and she bought it back in 2004, the same year she became the first ever female district attorney in San Fran. When Kamala was elected to the United States Senate in 2016, she moved to Washington, D.C. to represent California on the national stage. In the nation's capital, she purchased a condo offering her a convenient and comfortable home base close to work. Upon her election as vice president in 2020, Kamala moved to number one observatory circle, the official residence of the vice president. Located on the grounds of the United States Naval Observatory, this grand home has been the residence for vice president since 1974. Number One Observatory Circle is a Queen Anne style house known for its elegant architecture and lush surroundings. The home gives a spacious and secure environment for Harris and her husband Doug Emhoff to host official events and entertain guests while keeping their personal privacy. With President Biden's recent endorsement of Harris for the presidency, I mean, she might soon be setting her sights on the most famous address in America, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. If elected, Harris would move from the vice presidential residence to the White House, a transition that would mark a historic milestone in her career. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Kamala may work in Washington, D.C., but she still owns a stunning home in the upscale Brentwood area of Los Angeles, California. Kamala's husband, Doug, purchased this property in 2012 for $2.7 million, but it's said to have gone up in value to at least $5 million since then. She and her husband, Doug, who's an entertainment attorney, actually bought the 3,500 square foot house two years before they got married. Doug financed the home with a Wells Fargo loan and later transferred it to a joint trust after their marriage. Brentwood's a trendy neighborhood known for its celeb residents like Gwyneth Paltrow and LeBron James. And Kamala's mansion here features four bedrooms, five bathrooms, and a private pool. However, details about the style of her house remain scarce as images have been blurred out on Google Street View. In 2017, when Kamala became a U.S. Senator, she purchased a stylish condo in Washington, D.C. for $1.7 million. Located in an upscale building, the Westlight in the West End neighborhood, her condo spans 1,700 square feet of space. Her unit here offered two beds and two baths, and it gave Kamala a place to balance her demanding Senate responsibilities with a private retreat. Features of the Westlake building include 24-7 concierge services, a pet washing station, and a high-class fitness center with all the modern equipment, even Peloton bikes. Not to mention, it boasts DC's only 25-meter heated rooftop pool, giving residents a perfect backdrop to check in or out with the rest of the world. In 2021, Kamala sold this condo at $1.85 million, making a profit on the sale. Of course, being vice president, Kamala and her husband also have enjoyed living in one of the official residences. Located on the grounds of the United States Naval Observatory, this grand home has been the residence for vice presidents since 1974. Number One Observatory Circle is a Queen Anne style house known for its elegant architecture and lush surroundings. The home gives a spacious and secure spot for Kamala to host official events and entertain guests while keeping her personal privacy. Located two and a half miles from the White House, this 9,000 square foot, three-story Victorian home is situated on a hill. 
The vice president's residence occupies just 12 of the 72 acres. The grounds also feature landing areas for the president and vice president's helicopters, Marine One and Marine Two. The compound even houses the U.S. Naval Observatory Master Clock, known for maintaining time with a precision of within 10 nanoseconds. Historically, vice presidents lived in their own homes, but as it became increasingly difficult and expensive to secure private residences, the need for an official VP home arose. In 1974, Congress authorized the refurbishment and transformation of this property into the official home. In the Queen Anne style which the home is built, there are round turret rooms and extensive wraparound porches. The expansive grounds give plenty of space for entertaining. And during his eight years as vice president, George H.W. Bush hosted 900 parties at this very home. The sun-filled solarium was Joe and Jill Biden's favorite room in the house for the eight years that they spent living there. Now, each former vice president has added their personal touches to the property, and Kamala has likely done the same. George H.W. Bush installed a horseshoe pit and a jogging track. Dan Quayle added a swimming pool and Dick Cheney, well, he was widely believed to have built an underground bunker after 9-11. Kamala and Doug infused elements of California into the home when redecorating. Their designer Sheila Bridges used a neutral color palette with bold accents through the home, like a pink library. While the exact number of rooms in this stunning mansion is unknown, it's estimated that there are at least 30, each with its own unique character. Kamala is known for her love of cooking and often spends time in the kitchen preparing meals for family and friends. Her home spaces reflect her personal style and interests, with elements that highlight her heritage and love for art and literature. Harris's homes are often full of art and photos that celebrate her Indian and Jamaican roots, showing her pride in her diverse background. While renovations were underway at the U.S. Naval Observatory residence, Harris and Emhoff resided in Blair House, located just across the street from the White House. Blair House, the president's official guest house, features 14 bedrooms, 35 bathrooms, three formal dining rooms, a gym, and a beauty salon. After looking at where Kamala Harris has lived over the years, that's going to wrap up today's house tour. From her early days in California to her current role as vice president, each home has played a part in her story. As she continues to work on her political career, her homes have given her not just a place to live, but a sanctuary where she can recharge and prepare for the challenges ahead. Thanks for watching. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.